Hi guys, Jimbo here, the driving test guy, New South Wales, helping you with YouTube pass your New South Wales P1 driving test first go. Hopefully. Hey guys, this current video took a week to do, um, and since uh, the last one, I've had about 30 to 40 people post in and said they've passed with their driving tests, which has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm not going to be able to read out the whole 30 to 40 now, so I'm going to do about 10 now, but I will do the other ones in the next videos. So, uh, Tricks for Days writes, you're actually a legend. Thank you, Tricks. And Tricks passed at Springwood. Uh, Christy Sugan, I passed first go at Gregory Hills. Great stuff, Christy. Jawad, hey Jimbo, I just passed at Bankstown. Fantastic. Nung Ho, hi Jimbo, I passed my test at Liverpool. Great. Kirsten Baker, hello, I had my driving t test today in Penrith. Fantastic. Stephanie, your videos helped me so much. I just passed my test in Queensland. Queensland, great, great. Gabstar, passed Friday in Silverwater, first go. Also, Rona passed in Silver, Silverwater. And Brielle Sheeva, uh, hi Jimbo, I'm so glad I came across your videos because I was freaking out. She was freaking out, but she passed first go. Excellent. Now, also Deanna. Now, we had talked about Deanna before. Uh, Deanna had had a trouble at a stop sign in Bankstown. rolled over the line because there were two lines in that. But uh, she says, I finally passed. Fantastic, Deanna. And Celine, Celine writes, I passed my test first go today with a score of 115 at Chatswood. Fantastic, Celine. Excellent. Okay, guys, there's plenty more, but I'll mention you in the next videos. Okay, great. Okay, guys, so we're going to get down to business now. We're looking at uh, the last part three the last component of traffic lights and we're looking at right turn decision now when you're turning right at lights there are two main categories of turning right there's turning right with the green arrow which is relatively pretty easy um, and there's turning right without the arrow when you generally just get the green circle okay so I'm gonna go through um, them and particularly the one without the arrow that's got a, uh, a few more issues uh, related to it. And uh, also, there's a few variants on that one that I want to make sure you're very clear on. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first example is we want to turn right and we have a red circle pattern only, no arrows. Okay, so we're turning right. You can see in the video, there's no red arrow, just red circle. We still stop at the line, the bumper within one meter. If you stop over the line into the crossing, you're out, F1 fail. In this example, we're turning right again and we have both the red circle pattern plus the red arrow pattern. Okay, so we're turning right, we've got red circle, red arrow. We stop at the line within one meter with our bumper. Now watch this, green circle, red arrow. Now if you attempt to push in on that, you're out. Your examiner will stop the car, F6 fail, because you try to run a red. You do not want the examiner stopping the car for you on your test. Okay, now let's look at when we actually do go. I said earlier, there's two main categories of turning right when you go with the green arrow and trying to turn right without the green arrow. Okay, I want to do the green arrow first because that's the easy one and then we'll get uh, look at the harder one turning without the arrow. Okay, so in this example, we're turning right with green circle, green arrow. Okay, so at the lights, you can see now that it's gone uh, the green circle, green arrow pattern. Uh, we're all starting to go, this one's pretty easy no dramas, just go, look side to side, um, and uh, just complete the turn. That's pretty easy. Okay, so a little variation. Uh, we've got red circle, but still green arrow. Now, with green arrow, we're still good to go right. Okay, so we're coming up. You can see it's red circle, green arrow, and we are good to turn right with that green arrow, even though red circle's on. Okay, now, we're getting to the tricky one. Turning right at the traffic lights, but we only get green circle. There's no arrow give us priority now in this situation you can make the turn but you now have oncoming traffic and it can be pedestrians as well okay let's look at a few examples like that okay so in the first example we have just this light pattern green circle only and we're turning right okay so we're turning right red circle it goes green head check now we push in now I'm just gonna freeze a the clip there is an oncoming vehicle you can see him just in the distance as long as he's five seconds back we can just make this turn. There's a safe gap. Okay, another example, green circle, turning right, arriving, no oncoming traffic, no pedestrians, just straight in and turn. Okay, so in this example, we're turning right again. We don't have a green arrow. It'll be green circle only. Currently, we have the red circle. Now, in this example, we're gonna have oncoming traffic. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed the video up just to when the uh, light goes green circle. 
Okay, so the light goes green. Head check both sides. Now, we push in, keep the car and the steering wheel straight while you wait. And after that silver car, you can see there's a gap, then you complete the turn. Now, I want to show you some scenarios where we turn right. Now, the light does have a green arrow fitted, but you arrive at a time when the green arrow doesn't light up. And it might have a red arrow, uh, and, then, and then no arrow. Okay, so we're turning right at the lights. We've got red circle, red arrow pattern, and we stop. Now, if you look at the pattern, it's now gone green circle, but red arrow. Now, the red arrow is usually on because someone's using the crossing on the right-hand side. Now, eventually, the red arrow goes off, and when that happens, we head check both sides, push in, we give way to oncoming. If it's safe, oncoming, and there's no one crossing still, we make the turn. Okay, so in this example, we're turning right, and it's the same as the previous video. We've got green circle, but we've got the red right arrow. So we'll be stopping at the first line. Now in a second, the red right arrow is gonna disappear. And then, when that does that, we'll head check both sides. And now we push in like before. But this time we've got oncoming traffic. Now if there's a gap, we'll go. But what's gonna happen here? It's gonna go yellow and there's still cars. So we have to finish the turn. Push in, when the last car's through, we clear the intersection. Okay guys, let's have a look at that one again. Now, we're in the intersection with our wheels straight, cars are coming toward us, and then our light goes yellow. We have to complete the turn. Let's have a look at it again. Okay, so we've pushed in again, got our wheels straight. Now watch the green light, it's gonna go yellow. Okay, since it goes yellow, we push in. Now you see that white car? I've just frozen the video. That's the only car that's still coming through. Everyone behind him is slowing and stopping. Once that white car is cleared, we can make the turn, even though our light went red. Okay guys, now the next scenario is, it's the same. We're turning right without an arrow, just green circle, we pushed in. Now the problem we have this time is there's a car opposite us wanting to turn right in front of us and he hasn't turned yet. And we're having trouble seeing beside him down the side. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so we're turning right, green circle pattern, we push in. Now you see that black van? We've got a vision block out with the lane beside it. We cannot clearly see what's coming up behind it. Now, we mustn't even turn our wheels to see better. Otherwise, the examiner might stop the car. Keep straight till you can see. You can see now, you can now complete the turn. Now, if you tried to turn in front of that black van and you can't see behind it, on your test, the examiner's gonna stop the car. F6 fail, because it's not safe. You can't see behind the vehicle. Now, we're gonna look at another scenario. It's very similar. When you're in there, there's a vehicle blocking your view and you're in the middle and it goes yellow and ultimately red on you. And I'll show you what you gotta do. Okay, so we're turning right. Currently, there's a gray ute in front. Uh, we wait behind the line till he clears. He's now cleared, now we push in, keep our wheels straight. Now, that blue car, we've got a partial vision block out with the lane beside. Now, we cannot clearly see what's coming up. It, we do not turn. Now, in a second, it's gonna go yellow, red, and we're gonna complete the turn. Now, for it to be safe, we need to see behind that blue car. Now, when it goes yellow, we push further in. We can now see it's safe. That white car's through. It's safe, clear the intersection, even on red. Okay, guys, we're gonna look at one last scenario. Again, we're turning right at the lights. We've got green circle only, no arrow. We've pushed in, we have oncoming traffic, and we're waiting. Now, the confusing thing on this scenario is the other side have a left turn slip lane. Now, we looked at them in part two of, of my traffic light uh, videos. Now, what the confusing thing is, when the oncoming traffic get into their left slip lane, like they're turning left, we then have kind of priority on them. They're meant to give way to us. Now, let me just show you this video, how confusing this is. Okay, so we're turning right again, no arrow. We push in, keep our wheels straight. Now, you see that black car there? Now, he's now moved into the left turn slip lane. At this very moment, we have priority on him to turn, even though he's oncoming. I just need to confirm the cars behind are not coming straight ahead, because I would have to give way to them. In my opinion, they're all paused with left signals behind him. I'm good to turn, so I complete the turn. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for turning right at the traffic lights, part three of my uh, traffic light videos. Man, that was an absolute marathon. That took me ages to get out there and film all those scenarios. But look, I've got it done. I want you to practice them and know all of them because you don't know which one's gonna come up on your New South Wales P1 driving test. I want you guys to know what to do so you can pass first go. Okay guys, I broke 1,000 subscribers today. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna keep doing the videos. I'm gonna keep answering your questions. I wanna help you guys uh, get out there and pass your New South Wales driving test first go. 
So keep pressing that subscribe button, the notification button, and the like button. And as always, remember, stay safe.